What's up? I am David Long. I'm here today to share with you a clip from my recent video about soul, self, awakening, ghosts, afterlife, and reincarnation. I'll have links for you at the end for the full length, and you can also check for links down below. This idea of an individual soul is an outdated concept. It comes from a time before we understood the micro and macro scales of reality, before we understood our place in the world. You know, back then people had this kind of three-layer cake understanding of reality where there was the heavens above, the underworld below, and we were somewhere in the middle. Now, with science, we have a whole new view of our place in reality. We're no longer in this kind of three-layer cake. We're all these different scales of reality. And we find that there's life on different scales of reality. Like, not only are we on this planet, in a solar system, in a galaxy far, far away with other galaxies, you know, just this tiny little speck, but even we are kind of like a universe unto ourselves with a whole bunch of different cells and small microbioorganisms, bacterias and all kinds of stuff. I mean, some of you people are really nasty is what I'm trying to say, no. <laughs> but what, I, what I'm getting at is that there's like a whole ecosystem of life happening in my mouth right now. Think about that for a minute. I mean, I need to go brush my teeth. But what I'm trying to say is like, this is not an individual thing. That's an illusion. And now we understand that I am a part of a society. I am a part for an ecosystem. The bell tolls for thee, my friend. No man is an island. There is no such thing as an individual anywhere. Let me suggest this word called holons. I would not only encourage you to look this word up, I would encourage you to use it instead of the word individual. I would encourage you to correct people who use the word individual and teach them this word hold on. I would invite you to invite those people to watch this video. So the idea of the fractal and the hold on are also somewhat related. A hold on is something that is simultaneously a whole and a part. The word was coined by Arthur Kostler in his book The Ghost and the Machine. He figured out that although it's easy to identify subholes or parts, holes and parts in an absolute sense do not exist anywhere. So he proposed this word holon to describe the hybrid nature of subholes and parts within living systems. From this perspective, holons exist simultaneously as self-contained holes in relation to their subordinate parts, and as dependent parts when considered from the inverse direction. Holons are autonomous, self-reliant units that possess a degree of independence and handle contingencies without asking higher authorities for instructions. These holons are also simultaneously subject to control from one or more of these higher authorities. The first property ensures that the holons are stable forms in themselves that are able to withstand disturbances, while the latter property signifies that they are intermediate forms providing a context for the proper functionality of the larger whole. A holon is a system composed of other holons, and their structure exists at a balance point between order and chaos. Holons range in size from whatever the smallest particles are, all the way up to whatever the largest thing is, the multiverse. Individual humans and their societies and cultures are intermediate level holons, created by the interaction of forces working upon us both top down and bottom up. On a non-physical level, words, ideas, sounds, emotions, everything that can be identified is simultaneously a part of something, and can be viewed as having parts of its own. Since a holon is embedded in larger holes, it is influenced by and influences these larger holes. And since a holon also contains subsystems or parts, it is similarly influenced by and influences these parts. Information flows bi-directionally between similar and larger systems, as well as rhizomatic contagion. When this bi-directionality of information flow and understanding of role is compromised, for whatever reason the system begins to break down. Holes no longer recognize their dependence on their subsidiary parts, and parts no longer recognize the organizing authority of the holes. Cancer may be understood as such a breakdown in the biological realm. This idea of an individual, not only is it wrong as we're talking about, but it's also potentially cancerous and dangerous. The problem with this idea of of an individual is that it doesn't recognize its inherent connection to the larger whole and to the larger process. And so it starts living for itself and that is where it becomes like a form of cancer. And not only will that not help the individual, that will lead to the breakdown of a culture and a society. So a hierarchy of holons is called a holarchy. Now being that we're at an intermediate place in this holarchy, the idea is that self is something that is both created from pressures coming from the top down and from the bottom up. So you could say in some sense from both nature and from nurture, from both our own biological impulses and drives 
coming up in our different states and whatever might we might be going through on the inside, as well as top down coming from authority and culture and different ideas that are put upon us from the outside. And then these two forces come together to create whatever self we can manage in the moment. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, please check out the full length video and like and subscribe.